the bees are not did not build in the same location as last time as you can see the last cutout I did there's the old comb and uh, they are over here a bit coming in and out so I've got to uh, remove more insulation here and uh, get to it. I think the obvious first step here is to start vacuuming. So let's dive right into it. bucket of bees I just vacuumed. They are loud. Look at that. <laughs> the queen may be in there. Who knows? Look at that. See them fanning on top? I mean, that's not 100% that the queen's in there, but look at that, that cluster on the outside. Uh-oh, here comes some honey. Here's my office for the day. So uh, anyway, I vacuumed up all the bees pretty much and got all the comb out. I still think the queen is in that vacuum canister right there, or bucket. They sure do uh, like this this area, and plus I kind of smell that lemongrass smell. Here's what's left under here. Pretty much nothing. And these bees are very, very calm, by the way. I don't even think one has tried to sting me yet. So I'm deciding on what to do with this bucket of bees. If I should dump them in or look for the queen in there, we'll see what happens. Here's another bucket of bees. by side comparison of the uh, vacuum buckets the one on the right look at all the bees attracted to it and the one on the left not too many and uh, granted there's more bees in the bucket on the right but uh, there's not that many more bees to where they would be that much more attracted look at that on every screen there's bees trying to get in 
you know, and get to the queen. That's what I suspect. I think she's in that bucket. <clears throat> so I'm going to sit here and uh, figure out what I'm going to do. I may try to scan for the queen in there and uh, put her in the clip. <clears throat> or I may just dump them in the bucket. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, not the bucket, but dump them in the hive. All right, I'm going to look for the queen in there real quick, and I may just end up dumping them all in. My queen catcher ready just in case. This could get interesting. Look at that. I may just have to just uh, dump them in. I don't see the queen thus far, but we'll see. I see her. Got the queen out of the vacuum bucket. Boy, I talk about a money shot. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, isn't she pretty? Woohoo! See her right there on the bottom? Now on the right? Sweet. I had a feeling she was in that vacuum bucket. Now get ready for the uh, show here. And I don't want fiberglass in my hive. I assure you folks, no bees were hurt in the making of this movie. Bucket number two.
there you have it. I'm gonna put that comb back in there. I just made room for uh, to pour the bucket of buckets of bees in there. That's why I have that comb laying on top right there. And there's the queen cage or queen clip. All right. So I drilled a hole through my into my queen clip so I could uh, hang it from one of the top bars with a tie wrap. Kind of a rig situation, but hey, I'm improvising as I go. Got the bees orienting to the hive now. So, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to come back tonight and uh, pick up the hive after I seal it up. So, we got another successful, weird, wacky top bar hive removal by Patrick the Honeybee Rescuer. So I get here tonight and they're all bearded on the front. So I gotta smoke them and vacuum them because I don't have a pickup truck and they're not going in my van. Just got home with the last few stragglers in my backyard that I vacuumed up that were on the front of the hive. And uh, they'll make their way in and they'll live happily ever after.